Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I have got a brew with me today because it is freezing in England. It is like minus one today, which for a lot of you might not seem that cold, but for us Brits, that is a wee bit chilly. It even snowed last night. So today I've got a brew with me and today we're going to go over my seven life-changing podcasts or my seven favorite podcasts to date. I got into podcasts around 2015, 2016. I was working in what you'd probably class as a warehouse at the time and I was packing boxes. That was my job role. And a lot of people were listening to music and I was like, you know what, I don't fancy listening to music. What can I do that is more productive with my time um, where I can maybe gain some knowledge whilst just essentially doing this quite monotonous task of packing boxes. And lo and behold, this is where I started getting into podcasts. I was probably getting through about two to three podcasts a day and I was smashing these podcasts. Outside of things like books and YouTube where I search for the topics that I'm interested in, podcasts are probably the biggest form of knowledge and inspiration for me. Before listening to these podcasts, I had very little knowledge of like marketing and running a business and your finances and how to look after your money and stocks and shares ices and dealing with stress managing stress how to sleep better different fitness techniques optimal nutrition all these different areas i didn't really have too much knowledge about i honestly believe i probably wouldn't be where i am today if it wasn't for the podcasts and just the wealth of knowledge that i've consumed over the years i've managed to avoid a lot of beginner mistakes especially in business and managing my finances but on the other end of the spectrum when i have made mistakes i've known how to deal with them and how to deal with the, the stress that comes with those mistakes. So in today's video, I'm just going to cover some of my favorite podcasts that I listen to, maybe some of my favorite episodes within those podcasts, and hopefully there's a few there where you're like, ah, that's relatable to me, or ah, that sounds interesting, and you might give it a listen or in some cases, a watch. My first podcast on my list of podcasts that I feel that you should listen to is How I Built This by Guy Raz. The reason this is the first podcast that I'm gonna mention is because it's probably the first podcast that I actually started listening to, or the first podcast where I was like, wow, this is really good, and I listened to episode after episode after episode. I love this podcast because it's so well paced, it's so well, just so well made. There's music in it, there's breaks in it at the right point. It's almost like a, you know, you like your favorite TV show where there's like a like kiff cliffhanger and you're like oh you want to watch the next one it's like that within the episode so there's points where you're like oh what happens next and then there might be an ad break or they might talk about something else or they might talk about future podcasts whatever it might be but you're just you're waiting you're waiting for the next bit and then they start to go again it's so well made now i'm gonna butcher some of these names but some of my favorite episodes were like the early ones because they were what i started listening to so this was like i say like 2015 16 so like six years ago something like that which is mental to think about now but some of my favorite episodes were blake mykoski i believe that was named but essentially he's the ceo of tom's the shoe that was a really good podcast to listen to that was a very very good episode and the next one is ben cohen and jerry greenfield which you might better know as ben and jerry's i'm sure you've heard of ben and jerry's and that episode is sort of just discussing their journey of how they came about with ben and jerry's how the, how it became what it became and that's what i love about it is in these episodes, it's pretty much, rather than focusing on like the successes and the successes, it focuses a lot of the failures that they went through and this went wrong, this went wrong, this went wrong, this went wrong. But then again, how they learned from those failures. I think that's my favorite th thing about the podcast. You might be thinking like it's quite hard to relate to maybe such a big company, like for example, Ben and Jerry's or Tom's. But the thing is, because these mistakes are so early on on the journey of these companies, that they could be relatable to you now. You might be going through those very similar steps and that's why I like it because it focuses on the early steps. Now, if you're into your self-development stuff, then I'm sure you've heard of my next podcast, which is the Tim Ferriss Show. Now, again, I probably haven't listened to this podcast now for a good couple of years, but alongside how I built this with Guy Raz, those two podcasts together are probably the only podcasts I listened to for like a good couple of years. Like they were the only ones I listened to. It was like Guy Raz, Tim Ferriss, Guy Raz, Tim Ferriss. And I would just rotate those two every single day. So the reason I wanted to mention it is because one, it's still a very, very good podcast and also he's got some good books but two it's it's one of those ones that kick-started my journey into podcast now obviously the previous podcast with Guy Raz was very much business focused and building a business building a brand whereas the Tim Ferriss show is very much based on self-development how you as an individual can be a better person whether that's through sleep whether that's through nutrition versus that's through the hours you work in the day whether that's the books that you read whatever it might be that's the area that he explores and that's 
probably what got me into my own self-development journey. The reason I love this podcast so much is because Tim really does bring on some really good guests and they're typically like the best in the field or at least very highly regarded in their field. And the good thing about that is you, it gives you a little bit of snippet into what they know and you can learn a bit, but obviously there's so much, there's only so much you can learn in an hour or two of a podcast. So what I typically find is once I find someone like I really resonate with this person and I really like their methodolo methodologies, methodologies, methodologies. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I feel like I am. We will continue. But if I like what they are saying, then I tend to find myself going on this rabbit hole, researching this person and every other podcast that they've done, the papers that they've written, the books that they've written, whatever it might be. I'm like, I like this person. I'm going to find out more about them. And it's just a very much a, a self exploration by learning from these other people. And once I go down these rabbit holes, I just pick different things that I like. And I'm like, I'm going to apply that to my own life and see if I like it or not. So the Tim Ferriss podcast, definitely a podcast worth checking out. He's also written a lot of books, so check those out as well. Now this next podcast, I'm sure you have all heard of it, especially in recent years. It has gone from sort of like that to like that in the last couple of years. And the guests that this guy's got on have been incredible. Some of them, are, I don't even know how he's got them on the podcast. And that is the Diary of a CEO by Stephen Bartlett. Now without tooting my own horn, I would like to say that I am a founding member of the Diary of the CEO. I know there's no such thing, but I would like to say that I'm probably one of the founding members if there was a founding members club. And the reason I say that is because prior to the podcast going live, Stephen Bartlett used to do like a vlog, kind of like Gary Vee sort of style, like five, six years ago. I used to be obsessed with it, I loved it. And then I found out that he started making a podcast and in this podcast, it was literally just him with a microphone in his like cupboard or wherever he might have been, just chatting, just talking about things that he's learned. So it was no, no, nothing like it is now where he's interviewing people and there's this all grand setup. At the time, it was literally just a podcast, so audio only, and it was just him talking about different things that had happened in the week and things that he'd learned from. And that was years ago. That was like five, like say five years ago, maybe six years ago, something along those lines. But yeah, it really is amazing to see the growth that he's had over, especially last like two years. Like if you could probably look at the, the number of listeners or subscribers or whatever it might be, it, literally like this it's crazy i would definitely say this is my favorite podcast of all the podcasts that i listen to at the moment i haven't missed an episode even with people that i'm not too sure who they are or too interested in what they do i still find myself listening to the episode because i feel like i could pull some nugget of information from it and this is also a podcast that i do my best to make sure i watch the video version so i always find you get so much more work and you actually visually see the person you can see their body language you can feel see their facial expressions you just get a bit more emotion from it whereas the audio obviously the audio is fantastic it's very good quality audio as well sometimes i just want a bit more i want to be able to actually see the person who i'm listening to so of all the podcasts that i mentioned today if you're not listening to it already the diary of the ceo has to be on your go-to list next up in the world of podcasts we have deep dive with ali abdul now the reason i love this podcast so much is because ali does a very good job of putting himself in the shoes of the listener he almost interviews the guest as if he was the listener in the sense of he's extracting information that he wants to know himself and hopefully the listener also wants to know that information. I would say I listen to about 70% of the episodes that Ali puts out and the reason it's not like I don't listen to all of them is because I do find there is a lot of crossover between Ali's podcast and the Diary of CEO. However what I will say is if it's a guest that Ali's got on who's already been on the Diary of his CEO but I really liked that guest I'm like great this is just another opportunity to maybe get some more information for this person because I loved that podcast so much in the first place so okay cool this person was really good I really enjoyed them in the Diary of CEO so this is another opportunity to get even more information from Ali Abdul's podcast no matter what is still a very good podcast one to watch because the production is very very good but also to listen to as well if you're just driving around whatever it might be maybe you're going for a walk the audio quality is very good he's very good at interviewing the guests he's very good at extracting information just like Stephen Barlett is so again a very good podcast to listen to right so the previous podcast have focused very much on business in the sense of the diary of the CEO I'd say that's quite businessy quite self-development but very much businessy as well, a lot of business people on there. Then you've got um, How I Built This with Guy Raz, that's really very much businessy. Then the self-development ones, which with Ali Abdul and Tim Ferriss. The next one I would say is all about performance and just being a better human being. And that is the Modern Wisdom Podcast by Chris Williamson. It's very much been a podcast that 
over the years I've sort of dipped in and out of. I've sort of listened to a podcast episode here and there, maybe a couple of months later I've listened to another one. But this year in particular, I've listened to, I'd say probably like 70%, 80% of the episodes. Now the reason I say 80%, maybe 70% of the episodes is because Chris does pump out like three episodes a week which is if you're trying to juggle all of these different podcasts, the Diary of the CEO one, Ali Abda one, and then the ones that I'm going to mention later on, and then this and talk as well, like it becomes a lot of content to try and consume. So it's a lot of episodes, but what I will say is out of those three, there's probably going to be at least one of those a week that you're going to want to be like, oh, I'm going to listen to that one. Now this podcast very much explores self-improvement, but I would say it's very much like performance base I suppose I would say in terms of performance physically and mentally so how can you perform better physically and mentally whether that might be relationships with your partner or relationship with your friends sleeping better whether it might be better recovery methods be different types of nutrition different diets how can you train better endurance events strength training all these different areas of what I would encompass as performance so for me that is like the ideal podcast because for me self-improvement is mentally and physically so i love to train like training's my thing i do it every single morning i very much recently got into well i'm getting into endurance based training as well i do a lot of strength work over the years i've done a lot of strength work but recently i'm getting into my endurance training as well so for me this is like the ideal podcast because it's that crossover of mental sort of awareness and self-improvement but also physical so if you're like me and you like your mental performance but you also love your physical performance then this is definitely a podcast to check out now you know I mentioned earlier that when I find a guest that I like I go on like a bit of a rabbit hole and just sort of deep dive about this guest that's kind of what I'm like about the actual interviewer the host of this next podcast. So my next podcast is the Rich Roll podcast. Rich Roll is, he's an athlete. He's an ultra endurance event competitor. He is a wellness advocate. Despite his podcast launching in, I think it was 2013, I've pretty much only listened to his podcast the last couple of months. In fact, the only reason that I started listening to this podcast is because it came up as a suggested video on my YouTube and the guest was Casey Neistat. Now Casey has been a big influence in my life over the last few years. In fact, he's probably been a big influence on a lot of people's lives. So I was like, oh, this looks good. And as soon as I clicked on it, I saw the production quality. And I was like, wow, this looks incredible. And then I sort of just, you know, you click on videos, you explore the other videos. And I was looking at all of them. And I was like, these all look incredible. So like I say, since watching that episode, I actually watched that one. I didn't listen to it. Well, obviously I listened to it as well, but I, I watched it on the video version on YouTube. And since watching that video, I've just gone on a rabbit hole. I've consumed all of his content. Well, not all of his content because there's an awesome lot of videos there from all the way back from like 2013 or whatever it might be. But I've consumed a lot of his content and it's very much focused on mindset and habit building and fitness and nutrition and I suppose what you would call is just overall wellness. Now there's not too much I can mention on this podcast because like I said I only discovered it with the Casey Neistat episode which as of when this video goes up was about a month ago, six weeks ago, maybe even two months ago ish. So I've only had a short period of time to consume this content but what I've consumed so far, I've taken so much information from where I'm just like, I feel like this has to go on my list. And the final podcast, which is also more of a YouTube channel as well, and that is The Colin and Samir Show. Now, unsurprisingly, The Colin and Samir Show is presented by Colin and Samir. And their, their YouTube banner, you know, your YouTube channel art, perfectly describes what the channel is about and it's about creators for creators that just like perfectly sums up the channel now if you like watching creators on youtube then this is the podcast for you because it very much focuses on youtube creators now they have chatted with the likes of mr beast they've chatted with mr beast's manager which is a very interesting one they've chatted with mkbhd they've chatted with binging with babish they've chatted with yes theory they've chatted with all these massive creators on the youtube platform and they're essentially just just doing like a bit of a deep dive in, into the person, who they are, where they came from, their background, about their channels, just everything to do with the creator. Essentially imagine like a, a media company or a broadcaster and their niche, the people that they focus on is creators and their audience is also people who watch those creators. They essentially report on all the latest news on creators and just sort of push it out to you. It's not news in the sense of like, oh, your favorite creator has gone vegan or whatever it might be, whatever the headline might be. It's more 
educational and informational content on how to be a better creator, what your favorite content creator does and how you can maybe apply it to your own creative business. I actually have two favorite episodes from that podcast slash show is the manager with Mr. Beast and so not Mr. Beast himself, actually the manager of Mr. Beast because it's just fascinating to hear how that empire works. But also with another creator called Binging with Babish. So if you haven't heard of Binging with Babish, he essentially makes, imagine like um, food on The Simpsons or food on Futurama or food on one of your favorite shows. He will then recreate that food in real life and sort of just film it. It's a weird concept to describe, but it's very entertaining. But I feel like I've grown up with Binging with Babish because it started in like, 2016 which was only like six years ago but i feel like it was one of the very first channels where i was like wow this is cool and i was just like i watched every single one every time it was released so if you're into your creators maybe want to know a little bit more about them then this is definitely the podcast for you it's on spotify i believe um and obviously you can watch the youtube version as well now if there's any podcast that i've missed off that list where you're like this podcast is phenomenal why did you not include it put it down in the comment section down below because i'm interested to see what podcasts you also listen to. Now, if you did enjoy this video, then please do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up, hit the likes button. And if you wanna see more of these videos, then hit the subscribe button. And that is it from me. I shall see you lovely lot in the next video.